As part of our work supporting bespoke automotive projects at DG Design, I wanted to give you a little bit of an industry insight, uh, a focus on, on one of the live projects that we're currently doing supporting 1511 design, uh, explaining how and where Alias and VRED is actually being used within their project, uh, to show how digital tools are helping to build confidence in design and support sales and promotional work. What we're doing is very much a CAD CAM exercise and on top of that we're using our digital images produced in VRED to attract investors and we're using VRED VR to support client one-to-one -one reviews uh, to cover bespoke CMF activity. Our relationship, our working relationship with 1511 Design started in early August last year, 2020. Uh, I'd spotted their, their website details purely by chance. Um, they just struck me as being a really interesting local company. I'm based in Derby, they're, they're just up the road in Bakewell. And when I did a little bit of a sort of web, web troll to get a feel for, for what their setup was, um, the, the, the company was originally founded as Mellors Elliott Motorsport and they've got 40 plus years of rally car preparation. They're currently supporting World Rally Championship teams and yeah, they're very much at the top of their game. Um, they've set 1511 Design up as a high quality uh, restoration and modification company, obviously with a motorsport pedigree uh, that really shines through in what they do. Um, so apropos of nothing, I shared some of my sort of VRED images, uh, some of the motorsport stuff, uh, some of the rally car things, uh, the Bentley, and some of the Porsche 904 images. At that stage, I just sort of sent it for fun, you know, just with shared interest. Thought they could maybe use it as office wallpaper. It might, might spark a bit of a conversation with them. Um, didn't really think any more of it, but um, I think it was either that afternoon or the following morning, I, I had a phone call from a from Ben Mellers, who who's, runs the company. Uh, and it turns out Ben's an ex Coventry graduate like myself. And ben basically invited me up for a chat with him and his dad. So I, I went up, I think, the following day to meet Ben and his dad, Chris. Uh, and they, sh they showed me around the premises and they introduced me to some of the things they've got going on there. In particular, I had a chance to see the final stages of work they were doing to develop their Escort Speedster project. It's an amazing bit of kit, with modifications including a shortened wheelbase, removal of the roof and lowered windscreen, chassis strengthening, a new V6 engine, bespoke interior and exterior paint job, plus lots and lots of other performance and handling related models which build on their race and rally pedigree. Having seen the car in the final stages of development, I was blown away by 1511's vision, quality and attention to detail. As a company with this mindset and proven track record, they really appeal to me as a team I'd like to work with at some point. Um, and at that stage they were after a little bit of help and, and DG Design agreed to give them a little bit of after hours support. They had the Escort that was nearing completion, was nearly ready to be shown. Um, but at that stage what they wanted was something they could use as a sort of digital teaser to sort of pave the way, if you like, sort of set the scene. So, we did a, a quick alias model and, and some basic V-Red renders, something that they could push onto their website, push onto Instagram, to really sort of warm people up that the design was coming and to buy them a little bit of time as they were going through the final finishing off stages. Um, that body of work seemed to go down very well with the public, uh, raised quite a lot of attention in the process. So by, where are we at, about September last year, um, 1511 invited me back uh, to, to sit down with Ben and Chris and talk about the 914 concept in a lot more detail. And in that second meeting, uh, they talked me through a bit more detail that you basically take the 914 body shell, but you're grafting into it full Porsche Cayman state-of-the-art running gear. Um, and what that's delivering is, is a driving experience which is centered around very much modern ride, handling, braking, performance characteristics. But more than that, what it gives you is a, a state-of-the-art, highly tunable platform so that you can ensure that the performance is absolutely blistering in terms of what, what the, this new 914 is going to be about. But in order to successfully graft Porsche Cayman running gear into the design, there's a lot of things that need to change. The, the track's significantly wider, so we need to sort of flare the arches on the 914. And we need a whole load of additional inlet and outlet vents so that the car can breathe properly and perform perform well. In terms of aerodynamics, the, the guys were keen to get some sort of uh, 
spoiler into the rear of the design, so active spoiler uh, to ensure downforce at speed, uh, to optimize the airflow, the bonnet's gotta be reworked extensively. And, and as part of the front end DNA, uh, 1511 guys were really keen to feature sort of big sort of Moby Dick style lights mounted low down um, which is going to be an interesting design cue which carries over the lights that they'd use on the Escort so it builds on their brand uh, and at the rear of, of the car they want to sort of raise the bumper up to sort of hint at these exposed rear mechanicals to really show off that performance potential. When 1511 first conceived the project, they were thinking that, that it would be a one-off hand-built car for a particular client in mind. It would be probably steel arch, steel bodied. Um, but as they thought about it and as they, they got a, a feel for what the project was going to be about, they, they realised there was potential to do a, a limited production run. Uh, they'd be investing in CNC tooling and developing carbon fibre body panels um, and going down the CAD route so they could really get the design absolutely spot on. And with that limited series production and carbon fibre bodywork, again, they'd be raising the game significantly. Um, you get you know, ultimate quality, but with, with carbon fibre comes the benefit, again, of you know, increased lightness across the design, which, again, just makes the performance absolutely scintillating. Um, it was something we, we wanted to get involved in, so, so DG Design was, was able to track down uh, an existing poly model of the standard Porsche 914 from within the, the Porsche owners community. And we, we took that into A-list and we reworked it to reflect the exterior bodywork modifications that 1511 wanted to see. And we produced a set of initial V-Red images. Um, as part of our work with, with 1511, we had the opportunity in, I think it was October uh, of last year, to use VRED, to use VRED VR in particular, to present this concept design back to their client. Um, the client had, had had initial concerns that when we were going to widen the track, what he might end up with is something that, you know, almost had sort of um, Zaxby Capri style, you know, blistered arches. It could look a bit boy racerish, and he was concerned that he didn't, didn't really want that. But by using VRED, by using VR, we were able to walk him around the design lane, look at it from end to end, and really understand that you know our attention to detail, our, our method of execution for the arches and for the bodywork in general was you know absolutely spot on as far as he was concerned. Uh, we were able to explore colour variants with him and and try some CNF ideas out with it. And it, it was out the back of that VR review that the principles of the project and the bodywork concept design was was effectively signed off in the client's eyes. So over the winter months from November to February, DG Design got more actively involved. And I think we produced something like 30, 35 images to promote the design, to raise media awareness as part of the press pack to, to launch the project, to really sort of stimulate and assess potential buyer interest in a subsequent production build, and to communicate this, sort of this, this variant thing, you know, the fact that it's bespoke, the fact that you can have it your way, we produced a series of images looking at it from a range of different colours and sort of end user perspectives to sort of hint at different design directions that you could take with it. Whilst we were doing this, 1511 were hard at work in their workshops, um, grafting those Cayman drive lines and auxiliaries in, into the car and getting their, everything all set up. And in March this year, they produced an initial basic bodywork book based on section R alias data. Um, but what we quickly realised is the absolute finite detail and proportions of that just weren't quite right. The, the reference poly model that we'd had in the, in the first instance just wasn't quite close enough to where they wanted to be. So at that point, 1511 took the initiative and they've invested heavily now to put full uh, 3D scanning capability into, into their organisation. And what that has allowed us to do is scan the existing car from end to end so that we've got all the hard points there accurately that we need to work to when we reverse engineering our services. Um, that investment has helped our project enormously, but it's, from what they tell me, it's proven to be invaluable for all forms of, sort of the engineering and design work that they're also involved in, both as 1511 and as Mel Elliott Motorsport. So in this period that we're in now, this is April, May, June time, DG Designer actively involves supporting exterior surface development and detailing, the, the getting the surfaces right for production, getting the CAD right to be used for CNC milling. And along the way, over the past two, three months, we've done a lot of nip, tuck, detail refinements to uh, the overall styling, the overall look of it, the overall finessing of it, 
but also how the panels are going to come together, how they're going to join with the underpinnings. We've done a lot of in-depth, detailed, iterative uh, design reviews. We've spent a lot of time together as a team. Uh, we've been looking at design in both Alias and V-Red regularly uh, via sort of face-to-face -face reviews and also through Zoom three, four times a week on average. Um, and being able to share that data via Zoom, we've also been able to invite potential customers into the room so they can see this background work that's going on, this care and this attention to detail that's going into the setup work and what we're doing. Um, we've been able to explore uh, bodywork details, we've been able to explore CMF variants and get customers really on board and feeling like they're part of that process and very much in the loop and, and seeing what's going on. Alongside this, we've supported a competition with Road to Redline. Uh, they run a website and a blog uh, specifically for the Porsche community and for 914 enthusiasts. So we've set the challenge uh, of getting the, their community to come up with their own version of what they think the perfect livery will be for the car. Uh, we've had a lot of entries submitted and, and the winning entry we're going to actually develop into a series of proper V-Red renders as a, as a prize for, for the winning design. So it's another way in which we're, we're able to use the software and get that sort of uh, engagement in the community. As I speak, the CNC tooling phase is, is already underway. Uh, we're using a company called Futura Design down in Coventry who were picked because of the, again, their meticulous attention to detail. The precision and the quality of the five axis CNC work that they do is, is off the scale and they're a perfect fit for, for what we're trying to do with the project. Um, the 3D printed parts that are going to be um, populating the body are being done in-house by 1511. They've got that capability and it's nice to be able to demonstrate that through this project as well. The carbon fibre bodywork panels themselves will be produced, fitted, painted and finished by Normandale down in Daventry. They're one of these companies, again, that's this incredibly well known in the sort of the restoration and, and motorsport circles. They've got, again, themselves 30 odd years of uh, real high end, uh, high quality finishing experience when it comes to body panels and pulling things together. Uh, and the reassuring thing from our perspective is when we've sat down and done CAD reviews, with the Normandale team. Phil, Phil Ducker, who's the company owner, has, has said, yeah, okay, this, this route that you're going through, this developing your production the CAD data from SCAN and going through these details, going these stakeholder reviews to get things absolutely right, is it's a proper job. It's the foundations for delivering a really, really well-grounded, really well-executed product. So the first car is, is due for completion late, later this year. Um, and although that's obviously got a, a client lined up for it, it will be you know, the show and test car. It's, it's the proof of concept. It's going to be the real physical embodiment of what 1511 design can deliver. It will really demonstrate the level of refinement and quality uh, of the work they produce. And obviously it will give potential customers a uh, first chance to climb, climb all over the design, you can see it up close and personal, but also experience the performance firsthand. And I'm sure it's really going to put a lot of smile on a lot of people's faces. So looking ahead for us, we plan to stay involved with the projects as DG Design. We'll, we plan to be supporting through generating additional stills. We're going to be producing animation and VR work, again, to be used in a sort of customer lounge type format uh, to support that sort of CMF client interface work. You know, if, if you're purchasing a bespoke vehicle, this is your opportunity to see it in VR, to, to configure it exactly how you want and to sort of tailor it exactly so it's it's everything you want it to be and that's supporting sales activity and building buyer confidence. So the project for us is, is very exciting. It's it's very nice to be able to talk about a live project. We often don't get this chance. So it's, it's nice to be able to share it with you guys. And it's something that over the, the course of these blogs, I plan to revisit with you guys later in the year to show you that finished car, to walk you around it, to let you really understand for yourself uh, just the quality and the attention to detail that's gone into it. Uh, but it's going to be a chance for you to meet the team behind it as well, hopefully be able to introduce you to Ben and Chris. We can discuss the digital development process that we've been through together and we can get a little bit more about 1511's plans going forward, both in respect to the, the 914 production run and the other projects that they've got on the cards behind the scenes that, that we can't currently talk about. So. Really interesting time for us and it's really nice to be able to share it with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the insight.